Just grab, you know what? We got some shit to shoot. Nailed it. I had to wait to get it by the bottom. Oh, I was hoping you didn't drop it because- uh, You'll have another one. Oh, that's true. And I was staring at the camera and just expecting the win. No, All see, right. I'm kind and considerate and I don't flip it at your fucking face. I don't ever intentionally do that. It just happens that way, which isn't my fault if you didn't know that. Welcome back, we're Burm Junkies. <laughs> He's Dan Sean. Tonight. Today. A little Michter's American whiskey. U.S. Star One small batch. Oh, here we go. We get back into this naming thing that Michter's does. We don't do this. Michter's. Which one is it? Michter's. 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 Michter's small batch. Unblended American whiskey, U.S. Star One. You good? Rip. No, you're not. I, that wasn't even intent. You know, I might as well long pour it now. Higher. Will you take me higher? <laughs> Thanks, Scott Staff. That was awful. If you're okay. Wondering. I thought I was. I'm surprised. I wasn't really off left right, but I was off uh, north south. You know, we don't have paper towels out here. Yeah, we do. I can see them. So you good? I'm pretty much good. I thought so last time, and then this happened. Well, so let's try again. Glass issue right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I poured a lot for you, and not a lot. I mean, I poured a lot for me. I didn't get a lot. It's not bad. What's the problem here? Mixers American, pretty cheap bottle whiskey. I'm gonna call it semi-available at this point. It used to be widely available. Now I still think you can find it if you're even trying. If you want to try Listen very here, hard. I'm gonna delete your comment when you're like, I haven't seen this in ages. Ah. I don't care, okay? At this point in time, I'm so mad. When someone comments on one of the list videos and was like, I didn't see any of these uh -huh. this year. I went to two liquor stores. <laughs> I went to the gas station 14 mm -hmm. times I'm... and they didn't have one pappy. And I don't know what's going on with the world. So tired of those comments. Oh, anyway, okay. Yeah, I will call this reasonably available. Give or take the reasonable. Give it's an un. Less grain forward than I remember. What's up? Bro, it just splashed fucking all over your hoodie. It's just all over. <laughs> so reasonably available, we'll call it. Yeah. Is what Sean called it. You guys can leave that in the comments for Sean. Whatever. Whatever. Relatively cheap, usually around $40. Oh, I was gonna say 37. 35 to $50 bottle of whiskey. I think often it's around 40. It's a little corn muffin-y. It's an American whiskey, it's not a bourbon. Okay. So it is probably, I don't know the mash bill. I doubt you can find it because Mc, McTurse isn't super transparent with their mash bills and their no. makeups and their sourcing and stuff. This might be their own whiskey even, I'm not sure, honestly. A little, little butter on that corn muffin. If you're wondering, it was bottled by McTurs. So, um, 41.7 alcohol by volume, so it's a real low proof. It's good. It, I, dude. You know, that's crushable. Holy crap. 100%. That? 100%. Wow. Yeah. It's a little thin, kind of flat on the back end, I would say, but up front tastes pretty good. With On the nose, it's like a sweet honey butter cornbread. Okay. Where, you know, like when you go to those, or like a cinnamon honey butter, you go to like a nice barbecue restaurant, they got cool butters, different butters. There's definitely a little spice in the back just end. Just a little, I, just a little. My gosh, you've spilled more of that whiskey than I did. I mean, listen, it's not my favorite whiskey by any means. It might be one of the easiest drinking whiskeys on the planet Earth. It reminds me a little bit of a 1792 small batch. Oh my gosh, bro. I don't, I think it's got less oak than the small batch size. Mm -hmm. So it imparts more of like an apple-y, honey, sweet, kind of light apple. flavor. Yeah. It's really light. This is almost damn near refreshing. I I can't quite figure this out. It's like, it builds for a bit, okay. and then all of a sudden you get whoosh, your roller coaster, you forgot to build it, and you're just sending it right, off. Right, sure. Just just keep sending it. Right, into pillows. There's Everybody live. Nothing, yeah, okay, they all died. <laughs> <laughs> but there's just nothing on the end of this. That's why it's crushable. You drink it and you're like, did I just have whiskey? Yeah, it's a, such a low proof and it's so light and sweet and it's so dancey. You know when people dance, right? Like, uh, let's say, you know when people like hip hop dancing, real heavy fucking movements? Okay. This is like tiptoe dancing, like ballerina shit. It's real light and flowy, you know? There's just a tiny hint of acetone in there. 
I think it's a I little think, of the graininess coming forward. I think forward. that it's green apple tart. Hold it for a while, roll it around. You really get that, that acetone. But I, I, I really just think it's somewhat of the, the graininess coming forward. Okay, I left it in my mouth for 35 seconds. Mm -hmm. I get, I do get, I see, I get, I know what you're talking about. I literally do equate that to like, when you bite into a green apple and it's like, oh, just a, for real quick, I kind of equate it to that. There's almost a, like a neutral green note in there is what I'm it's trying kinda, to say. I'm, I'm assuming it's the really high corn mash bill. Yeah, like there's just that little, little hint of neutral green spirit, yeah. I feel. I'm picking apart it's a, a good whiskey. $40 bottle though. But I tell you what, you just want to sit down, pretty much do anything and yeah. crush some whiskey. This this will do it for Th you. This is such a good um, background whiskey. This is such a good, I'm chilling, yeah. trying to have a discussion. I don't care about what, I just want something I enjoy, you're but watching, I don't want to think about yeah, it. Yeah, you're just watching some Netflix or something. Right. You just drink a little whiskey. Yeah. yeah, it'll do it for you. If you're watching something like Game of Thrones that you need to be mentally involved in, right? Or like uh, Memento, where you have to fucking pay oh, attention. Yeah. Great bottle of whiskey. <laughs> That's a strong callback to a movie I there. I love Memento. It's an old ass One movie. of the greatest movies ever made. You should watch the uh, Christopher Nolan explanation of it. Oh, I need to because you told me about yeah, that. Yeah, it's amazing. I do need to watch it. It is amazing. All right, what's your grade? Uh, that's what I was going to ask you. Um, okay, well, let's, let's grade it on 40. B. It's not bad, on but 40? it's not good. It is crushable. I think I would rather pick up 1792 Small Batch. I think it's I mean, got a little that's more what, going 30? on. 30, yeah, twenty nine ninety nine. So here, that's the thing. I'm trying to uh, now compared to other forty dollar bottles. I don't think this is the best one. Oh, you know what means. this reminds me of? Actually, a young Remus. Oh, that's interesting. I just got that. That's a weird piece. Like yeah, like a little bit of a little peachiness mm, in there, hot. like little lighter fruits, and it just gave me that kind of callback to a really young Remus. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go like a B minus, I think, mm -hmm. due to price. Mm -hmm. This is 25 to, I'd say 25 to 30, I'd go A plus. I think at 40, there are different bottles in the 40 range. That I'd rather pick up, yeah. There's a 20, here's the thing. I'd I also have a small don't, batch bourbon. Yes, I agree with that. But I also don't think that this is intended to be like the whiskey geek's best fucking value, no. right? I think this is intended to be like, you want to sit down and crush some whiskey? You can put ice in it. Still good. You could leave it alone. Still good. You can drink it in the summer, the winter, the spring, the fall. So you can just drink it because you're trying to sell. It's, like, it's like when a distillery on the back of their bottle it. goes, you can put it in a cocktail, you can put ice in it, or you can drink it neat. It's like, hey, chill, bro. We didn't need any of that. You just want me to drink it? Just drink it, huh? Yep. Empty the bottle. Cool. Okay. Right. I think it's not bad. Yeah. Well, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. We're oh, the Bourbon yeah. Junkies. Patreon, Facebook, things like that. Instagram. Yeah. Do those things. Love you guys. Proofs in the pork. Proofs in the pork.